support very interesting channel right now. Link in the description. Look at this very bright dot flying in the night sky. It looks indeed small from the surface of our planet, but if you look at it through a telescope, you will immediately notice that this is the International Space Station. It is orbiting our planet at a distance of roughly 400 kilometers from Earth. We all know that not only the International Space Station, but also Starlinks and some satellites are bright enough to be visible to the unaided eye. But what about Starship? Really, this Elon Musk's giant vehicle is going to be the tallest rocket ever created. Will it be possible to see Starship flying in the sky, just like other satellites? In this video, we are going to answer this question, and you will find out how to spot it even from your backyard. Carry on watching, because it will be very interesting. According to Elon Musk, the first orbital flight of Starship is going to take place by the end of 2021. It will be launched from Texas, make one circuit of Earth, and then land in the Pacific Ocean near the Hawaiian Islands roughly 90 minutes after liftoff. The length of the second stage, which will be flying in space, is 50 meters, and its diameter is 9 meters. In comparison with the ISS, Starship is smaller, and most importantly, it doesn't have large solar panels. Namely, they, along with radiators and antennas, are responsible for the brightness of almost all satellites. Let's have a look at this little thing called an iridium satellite. These are its small antennas, but namely they are responsible for very bright flares across the sky that are caused by reflecting sun rays. Sometimes they are capable of shining even brighter than Venus, the most vivid planet, and even brighter than International Space Station, which is enormously bigger in comparison. Unfortunately, the last satellite with such antennas decayed in December 2019, and the new ones are not capable of reflecting light. Back to Starship. Since this rocket will have to enter the atmosphere, it requires a decent thermal protection system. Therefore, half of the vehicle will be covered in these hex tiles made out of stainless steel that will dissipate heat during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Metals are very smooth and have a high reflection coefficient. Therefore, Starship can be bright enough to be visible even without solar panels. Additionally, because the backside of the rocket will not face the atmosphere, it doesn't need these tiles, but it will be made out of grey stainless steel, which obviously reflects sun rays better than black tiles. Luckily, Starship is going to be used in NASA's Artemis program in 2023, which will require it to send cargo and passengers to our natural satellite. Because it will be quite a long journey, SpaceX is planning to install solar panels on all sides of Starship. Additionally, if they are going to apply the route that was used by Apollo 11, then Lunar Starship will orbit Earth somewhere at 200 kilometers, which is two times closer to us than the International Space Station. Taking all this into account, I can say that Starship will probably be visible to the unaided eye. But how bright will it be? Well, if we consider the fact that even smaller vehicles such as Elon Musk's Dragon and other spacecrafts can be compared in brightness to Polaris, then I predict that Starship will be bright enough to compete with Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, or Jupiter, but this is just my prediction. What is more, satellites, antennas and solar panels are capable of causing bright flares for several seconds. During this period, Starship, which has on board solar panels, can become extremely bright and visible even in the most light polluted areas on our planet. But what about telescopic observations? People that have managed to take pictures of the International Space Station know that it's possible to capture its shape, several modules and solar panels. Moreover, some people even take images of small Starlink satellites. One of our subscribers, you should immediately follow his magnificent channel, link in the description, recorded this amazing video of Starlink through his telescope. I should mention that he used an amateur telescope and recorded everything using his phone. Here we can see a small Starlink 1538 at a distance of 550 kilometers from us. Just to clarify, it is a satellite several meters in size, and we can clearly see its shape and solar panels. 
This implies that starships through your small telescope will definitely be visible and it will look something like this. We shouldn't also forget that in the future, Elon Musk intends to use additional tanker starships that will dock to the main spacecraft to refuel it. It means that during this time, there will be two starships located close to each other, which will be shining together way brighter in the sky. So, what do we have in the end? After starships commence launching regularly into orbit, we will likely be able to see them in the night sky. What is more, if you are in possession of a telescope, you could also take delightful pictures of this fascinating spacecraft. We'll find out if it's true in several months. In order to know when the next starship is going to fly above you, you can visit this magnificent website called heavens-above.com or upload their free app on your phone. It's an amazing source of common flybys of satellites, International Space Station and, in the future, starships. All you need to do is to indicate your location and see if there are any satellites flying above it. By the way, if you want me to show your pictures of starships on this channel, then you can send them to me via email or send me a private message on Discord. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye!